Hey guys, it's Ashley. I am here from Kurt's office for a Father's Day gift guide. So I was talking with my friend recently and she mentioned that, that she enjoyed my Mother's Day gift guide. And she said, I hope you do a Father's Day gift guide. And I was like, Ugh. I had not even realized, like I, that just shows kind of like the cave that I'm in. I had not even thought about being Father's Day coming up, but it is, it's coming up. So I just went around the house and gathered some things that I have gotten for Kurt in the past. And these also, uh, some of these things I've given to my dad as well. Um, so I hope these give you some good ideas. Um, I try to think outside the box when it comes to gifts. You'll kind of find that about me. Um, I, I don't like it just, I don't know, just any old gift. I like to think it through and I like for it to be special. So hopefully this will kind of spark some ideas for you when you're giving gifts. So let's get started. The first idea that I have for you, I'm actually wearing. And the, the shadow on my face might drive some of you guys crazy. It's kind of driving me crazy like when I look in the viewfinder, but I just, I think it's cute. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it and we can just get over the shadow situation. But this is a hat from Aviate. It's a company that makes baseball caps and it's the airport codes. So if your husband does a lot of tra traveling, if your dad does a lot of traveling, if there's a city that's important to you as a family, if you and your dad like used to go, you know, to ball games in a certain city or something, think, think about a hat that has the airport code on it. I discovered these recently and I love them. Like I, I wear this all the time. This one stands for Dallas Fort Worth. That's uh, where I was born. Texan for life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I also have the St. Louis cap. This one's in black because uh, that's our nearest uh, major city. And so we go here to St. Louis a lot. I mean, we go to St. Louis a lot um, to see shows and just do fun stuff like go to the zoo and things like that. And it's where we fly out of you know, for everywhere. So, um, these are actually my hats. Like <laughs> Kurt doesn't have any. Um, so this is actually, I'm kind of telling myself this idea as well that I hmm, should probably get him one too, but we would kind of like, he would probably just wear the St. Louis one. And I, he grew up in small town, Mississippi. So I'm like, <laughs> I don't know where, <laughs> what city I would get, but, um, you know what I'm saying? It's just fun. Like associate think when you're thinking of gifts, like think in terms of memories, special places, like along those lines. So, um, aviate, it's a great company. I highly recommend it. Another great company that you might not have heard of is called sword and plow. And it's an awesome company and they use reclaimed military materials to make items to buy. So you can get like the baseball cap, like I have here in this olive green, which army green, I love, love this color. And I also got my dad and Kurt um, uh, dot kits from that company as well. And they're like kind of industrial feeling. And I don't have one to show you because uh, Kurt is on a trip. He gone, honey, he's on a trip. Um, but he took it with him because he likes it so much. So, but they're an awesome company and they support veterans, support military families. And so they also have, uh, handbags and, um, other bags. And so I will show you one that I've gotten. It might not be necessarily for a dad in your life, but it'd be really cool, um, for you to even buy for yourself as well. So if you're buying like a kind of a manly gift, like a dop kit or a hat, buy yourself a bag too, because they're really, really cool. Okay, so here's the bag that I got from Sword and Plow. And it's a tote. And I mean, it's super big. Look how big that is. It's so big. It has this really nice metal uh, logo on it. Really cool industrial look with leather. And it's very roomy inside. Um, I just love this company. I love what it's about. Um, I love that they support our military families and so while you're buying men's gifts get yourself something girl get yourself something because they they're cute 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 so something fun that i gave to this wasn't for father's day but it would still apply i gave this to all the men in my family last year for christmas um and it is the it's a ancestry dna kit can you guys see that whoa let's try this again there we go um it is a kit that you, you, I'm sure you've seen this all over the place, but um, you send in your DNA, like a spit sample, and then um, it comes back and kind of shows you the demographic of 
um, kind of your where you might be from and the um, percentages of that. Um, you know, there's talk like how accurate it actually is, but I think it's cool. It's a cool gift and um, it has enough street cred to where I think it, it's a legitimate gift. You know what I mean? And it's cool. It's different. So if you um, need something, maybe that's not the traditional like sports or like, you know, manly type of hobbies type of guy, then this might be really cool. You know, if he's into history, um, learning about his own family, this would be really cool. So ancestry.com has that. And then there's other websites too, but I just got mine from ancestry.com. Another cool idea is a dop kit. And if you have, I mean, I'm sure this, is this a universal thing to call it a dop kit, but um, just a toilet, a guy's toiletry bag basically for them to travel with and take their toiletries in. But you could kick it up a notch with a monogram. Monogram it y'all. And I think some guys think that monograms are just for like Southern mamas and their babies. That's not true y'all. Like. A monogram just kicks it up a notch. Like, wouldn't you say, I think it's just so um, distinguished for a man to have a monogram on something. I think it's like confident and it's like, this is who I am. Anyway, um, so monogram it y'all, put a monogram on it. Okay, a really sweet gift that I gave Kurt a couple of years ago um, was a hammer and it has a vinyl um, kind of applique on it and it says daddy thank you for what does it say daddy thank you for helping us build our lives super simple but he displays it here in his office and i think it's a really visual reminder you know like that what you're doing as a parent matters and that's what father's day is all about and um it's just cool i had a, a local mom here one year was making them and she advertised them but if you have anyone that has like a machine that can cut you know sticky vinyl or whatever then um, have them make that for you. You can stick it on a hammer. Um, I'm sure you can also find this on places like Etsy. On the other side, it had Love, Evie, Liam, and Lindley. So really cool and just a nice visual. I mean, super simple, but a really cool visual of um, what it means to be a dad. Something that Kurt found that he absolutely loves um, is a phone case that also doubles as a wallet. So he likes to just carry, this is an old one. He got a newer one that's a different color that he has. But um, this is just a regular cell phone case, but then you open it up and then there's a place for credit cards. I look at this, like I look at something like this, I'm like, if I were to lose that, I'd be up a creek, honey, up a creek. He loves it. He he swears by it and like he is very responsible and keeps up with this and so he loves just carrying one thing and like he's so he's big on like streamlining and so he um he likes just carrying one thing in. He's like I just got it all right here. Something else that I saw on a gift guide uh, for Christmas was the Hydro Flask. And just to be clear, Kurt is not one of those guys that like is bebopping around with a climate controlled beverage at all times. Um, but I was like, you know, this is cool. He might use this. He's a huge coffee drinker. So I thought that it might come in handy in, at least in that regard, but he tried it out and he's usually not this kind of a guy. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but like he's not this guy that's like, you know, feeling cool with his like, you know, hydro flask. But he tried it out and he was like, that really kept it um, cold. Like he put in a cold drink, I think one time, and then he tried a hot beverage and he was like, I was amazed. So I think that he just really hadn't like tried it out before. And then he did. And this one, um, was a big hit. So they have different toppers too. <laughs> they have different tops too that you can get, but, um, he really liked it. And you know, it just, it makes him feel cool to carry around a beverage that is either hot or cold. So, you know, girls in our candles, you know, we love candles. We love to light a candle. We love to smell a candle. We love to collect candles, right? Anything that just candle, you know? Um, I found manly candles for Kurt. And this was for, again, I think for Christmas one year. Uh, this was in his stocking. Um, and their Old Factory is the brand, oldfactorycandles.com. And these are the scents. Okay, so there's mahogany straight razor and leather okay so these smell really good they do smell manly they they do smell manly so this might be good to put you know next to his bedside table or if he like has mmm oh I like that that mahogany that smells good I haven't smelled these in a while um you know I mean Girls do not have to be the only ones that have candles, y'all. I mean, he can light a candle for some self-care. Straight razor, let's smell this one. 
Oh, okay, okay. If you don't buy any of the other ones, get straight razor. If you want something that smells like a handsome man, straight razor, y'all. Straight razor. And then this one, I'd probably venture to say is Kurt's favorite simply because it reminds him of a car. The leather, yep. Smells straight up like a car, like a like a new car. Spanking new car. He, he he's way into cars. If I were, if you know, obviously, if I could buy him a vehicle, I would because I would probably just be the old. You know, he'd be like, Hoo. but um, can't can't do a vehicle. So next best thing, we're gonna get you a leather candle. Okay, so I think everyone has done the traditional mug routine. You know what I mean? Like you've done the whole like, here's a cute mug, but um. This actually does kick it up a notch. You know what I mean? This this does elevate things. Look how big, this is as big as my head, y'all. As big as my head. Um, it says Big Bad Dad. It's it's a Star Wars mug. It is ginormous. Kurt is known for the copious amounts of coffee that he can drink and like not be affected by it. It's actually rather unsettling, but he stays greatly caffeinated. And um, yeah, so this is this was a kind of a joke. Like I got him this because I was like, is this big enough for you? But um, it's at, it's from Hallmark of all places, and so that's kind of the reason that I was going to show this. It's because Hallmark actually has some good things. Like if you, it's kind of you think of it for cards and stuff. But if you still have a Hallmark around, I think a bunch of them closed actually. But Hallmark Online um, is a great way to find some gifts. I have found some really good, like unexpected things there. You know that you're not seeing in other stores. Um, so if you have a Star Wars fan, I know they had for at least for a while they had a lot of Star Wars stuff. So get you a big old Star Wars mug. So as far as DIY or, you know, homemade gifts that are cute, uh, I think, you know, you can always just do the simple little craft, like let's make a picture frame, you know, whatever. But for, again, for Christmas this past year, Kurt had started making popcorn, homemade popcorn for the kids. And they loved it. You know, the old fashioned is popping it on, you know, the stove top. And they just loved doing that with him. And it, it became their little thing and it was really cute. And my friend Grace, her dad, also like was a big popcorn fanatic. And so I, I was visiting them one time and he busted out this big old bowl that said Rich's Popcorn. Like it was like labeled, it said Rich's Popcorn. His name's Rich. And I was like, <gasps> like I had, I was like, <laughs> that is the best ever. And so I tried to look it up online. I wanted like that particular style, couldn't find it. And, um, and so I was like, you know what? I'm just, we're going to make our own. We are just going to make our own. And so we went to the pottery painting place and I mentioned a lot of this stuff. I kind of actually mentioned or like certain things in my mother's day gift guide would apply to men too. I mean, if you just kind of tweaked it a little, but, um, I mentioned pottery painting in my Mother's Day gift guide because you, it, it just doesn't get old. I mean, like you could paint a mug, you could paint, you know, whatever. But I got, um, the, we picked out this big bowl and the kids, and y'all, it, okay, can other mothers relate to this? Like we, we had, we had this thing, this breakable thing and like, you know, they're just like slathering on the paint <laughs> and like the control freaking you was like, ah, you know, <laughs> But it was really cute. It ended up being so cute because what I did is I, I gave them all a paintbrush and I said, okay, you all, all paint the bottom. Um, and then Evie did the stripes around the side. Okay. And then y'all, this is really cute. Okay. On the inside, we used their thumbprints. Okay. So all three kids used their thumbprints and, and we did the yellow, you know, around the bowl and then I took a detail like a, a black detail um, squeeze bottle and outlined it and then I did the writing and it says Kurt's popcorn isn't that cute I thought it was just super cute and on the bottom it says 2017 Ashley Evie Liam and Lindley and so it'll just be a little keepsake, you know, forever. And it's a reminder of this little season of him making homemade popcorn for them. And so there's lots that you can paint. I mean, of course you can do mugs, um, but you can also do like, if he's a big like grilling guy, then like make a serving platter, you know, that says like daddy loves to grill or like, you know, daddy's treats or you know, something like that. Um, oh, there is something else. Hang on. I'm going to show you what Evie did also. Okay, so Evie, when we were there, she wanted to make um, something on her own. And so she picked out this little holder, this little, you know, just container. And he uses it for like pens and writing utensils on his desk. I mean, does that not make you want to sob? 
um it says eddie 2017. i mean really you guys it's just like my heart cannot take parenthood um but he kurt graduated from ole miss um and so she their colors are red and blue and so she she did this for him to match you know some of his decor um but he loved it i mean so, just so sweet and you know just, let your kids like let go of the control and let your kids just make something from their heart you know it's i mean it sounds basic but sometimes i need that reminder just let them let them do their thing you know because as a parent there is nothing more precious than like a little stick figure with like 20 fingers you know what i mean like you just think that is just the most precious thing in the world so don't stress about it like just give your kids a piece of paper let them draw or paint and then frame it you know what I mean? For their office or for y'all's, you know, his closet or something, you know, um, the house, you know? Anyway, so I think it's DIY, like, I think it's tried and true, but there's a reason for that because it really is just so sweet. So something I try to do um, is have fun with gifts on occasion. I usually, with um, almost every holiday or, you know, gifting occasion, I will usually end up giving Kurt some kind of a t-shirt. And I love to think outside the box on these, okay? They're fun. Um, so the, here's just a, a sampling of his collection. Um, and this is not even, this isn't even like his Disney ones. I probably need to go get at least one of his Disney ones because they're really funny. His favorite Disney character is Gaston. If that tells you anything, he thinks he is hysterical and yeah. So, um, he has a whole Gaston shirt collection. That might be a Disney video. That's what we'll do. We'll do a Disney, a Disney shirt or clothing video. Maybe we'll have Kurt make an appearance. Like, wouldn't that be gold? Like, just to have Kurt, like, <laughs> be on YouTube? Um, okay, so anyway, here's just a small sampling of his t-shirts. Two of my favorite websites for t-shirts that are unexpected is redbubble.com because it's more like graphic, like silhouettes and like cool, like, it's it's more like subtle kind of stuff like it's not loud but you kind of once you see it you're like ah oh, you know what i mean like it's cool redbubble.com is a great one and then 80stees.com so for those that are kind of in like my age bracket you'll love that like 80s tees is like bomb i mean you will love it like there there's stuff on there every day that i'm like oh my gosh like i need that shirt um so anyway so one of them i got him um, and some of these are Christmas ones, but they're short sleeve. And so he wears them year round because it's just funny. So we will be out and about and people without fail will see Kurt wearing these and like comment or laugh or something because they're hysterical. Um, but this one, for instance, it says, you'll shoot your eye out. Red Rider 200 shot range model. Name that movie. So, I mean, you know, like cool kind of graphics that like, aren't cheesy you know what i mean like it's a cool looking shirt but then once you read it you're like ah you know um i'm personally not a fan of the movie a christmas story but this is a marriage where we give and take and so i got him the t-shirt so um wife award for me um and then this one you've probably seen i, I think this probably came from target um keep it classic love that one and there's another one that he has that has the original controller on it and it says classically trained. <laughs> so that's funny. Um, he loves that one. Where is that a lot? Oh, this is another good one. McAllister's Home Security. Since 1990, protecting Chicago suburbs. You guys, Home Alone, are you kidding? Look at that, it's the Home Alone house. Is that not the best? Like I find these and I feel like I have struck gold. Like. I love it. I love it so much. And it's just clever. Like people see these and they just, they howl. It's just so funny. And you know, everyone who's seen these, like, I don't know. It's just funny. Um, everyone kind of connects over the, the t-shirts, you know? Um, I love also just simple branding. Like I think it's super, super fun. Um, so this one is Benford Tools from Home Improvement. <laughs> Um, one of Kurt, that's one of Kurt's favorite shows. Like he associates that from growing up and that's, that's not where I'm getting at here is like, find something that like, if there's a TV show, like get them talking, you know what I mean? Like, what did you used to watch when you were a kid? Like, what was your favorite cartoon? Uh, you know, what, what show did you just like really love to watch? And I mark my words, there is a t-shirt for that. Okay. There is a t-shirt somewhere, um, 
for that. And so Benford Tool, you see what I'm saying? Like simple branding, that it looks like a legit like business, but it's from Home Improvement. It's the tool company from Home Improvement. So that's fun, he loved that one. And then always a classic, this just says Mayberry. Cause Kurt absolutely loves um, the Andy Griffith show. And who doesn't? I mean, you know, oh, I could go on and on. But just simple, think just like simplistic shirts like that. Like what are, you know, even have one made. But um, these, uh, most of these came from either redbubble.com or 80s tees. I can't remember if it's 80s, 80stees.com or 80stees.net, but I'll link it below. But great websites. And I really have a feeling like you'll hit the jackpot. They're awesome. Okay, speaking of the Andy Griffith show, I found an amazing website called Fantasy Floor Plans. And you guys know my obsession with floor plans, first of all. Like, I live and breathe floor plans. Used to draw them as a child. Um, but I found this website. It creates floor plans for like TV shows, like sitcoms, famous ones that everyone loves. So here is the residence of Sheriff Andy Taylor, Opie Taylor, and Aunt B. okay? And it's the first floor and the second floor. I, these are wrapped up. Let me take it out so you can see it. It's a simple print, and we're gonna, we don't have them framed yet. We're gonna get it framed. But look at this. It's like the floor plan of their house. Is that not the coolest? I, I get so pumped over stuff like this. Um, they've got like the Friends apartments. They have Leave it to Beaver. They have, um, Oh, what, so many other classic sitcoms that you like, because, and this is what's so funny about this, because I think if you watch a show enough and you're obsessed with the show long enough, like you feel like you could, you know exactly where everything is in that house and like you could draw it yourself. And this person actually did, you know? So cool. This is the second floor, like with their bedrooms. And it's like legit, like it has the, you know, just like an architectural drawing, um, how they do that with real um, blueprints. And so this would be super cool if he's nostalgic about a certain show. Um, grab you some fantasy floor plans and you don't even have to, you know, if you don't have time to frame them, don't. You know, y'all can do it later, but just like they come nicely packaged. And um, yeah, y'all, it is, it is bomb. I mean, there are so many floor plans I want to get, but for sure, check them out. Fantasy floor plans. Kurt is a reader. He loves to read. He um, is constantly studying and um, self-educating, learning more. Um, he's very well read across a lot of topics. That's one of the reasons, many reasons I love him so much. He just, he's inspiring and he, um, he's just constantly, he has such a, I feel like just such a wide range of knowledge about so many things. And that's because he reads like, um, what, what is that like real cheesy phrase? <laughs> Leaders are readers, <laughs> but it's true. It is so true. Um, so, you know, there's a couple of ideas here. Um, one thing that I did for Kurt was starting him a collection. So if you know that he has like a favorite author or, if, you know, someone that wrote a lot of books, start a nice collection of those books. And maybe they have them in like paperback, but get like the nice, you know, hardcover series, you know, start him on a series. So this is, um, Diedrich Bonhoeffer is one of Kurt's heroes and my heroes as well. But Kurt especially. Um, just deeply admires this man and if you're not familiar he was a Christian during World War II in Germany and so much went into that but he you know it's the whole concept of this is about to get deep like as a Christian you know your allegiance to your country versus what you know is morally and ethically right according to you know your belief system and how he navigated that in Nazi Germany fascinating discussions but like him he's a person what he wrote is just so, uh, Kurt said he just is able to nail it, like on how he describes that tension and among other things. But so all that to say, um, he loves Dietrich Bonhoeffer. And so I started him on the collection of his complete works. So I found, you know, a series where they're all kind of bound the same. And my goal, um, and I wrote in the inside um, whenever I gave it to him so he could remember. Um, but when you take the, you know, the jacket off, then he's left with a really beautiful collection of books by, uh, Bonhoeffer. And so I'm actually like, this is, I'm slacking. Like that's probably why I need to get it for Father's Day is like more of those books. Cause 
I'm slacking. But um, just any like just think think in terms of like what collection could I start for him if he's expressed interest in a certain thing. So that's an idea. And I'll just go ahead and say if your husband is um, interested in, in history, you know, but also in spiritual matters and like kind of the mix and blend of that. If he has not read this, this is um, the biography of Bonhoeffer, pastor, martyr, prophet, spy. And it's, Kurt said, it's just a fascinating read. And this, you know, I think it's sometimes hard to kind of, you know, hit it right with the kind of book that you would give to someone to read. But this really does cover literally like he was a pastor, a martyr, a prophet, and a spy. And, um, and so, yeah, it, it's a, it's a great one and it's a New York times bestseller. And so, you, you know, if you just want, if your husband is the type or you know, your dad is the type that loves to just go deeper and like learn about history, learn about heroes of our faith. He is an awesome hero of our faith. So, um, you can say that I personally recommended it, but, um, I think any, anyone who is loving to read, loves to learn, um, it kind of in that realm, get the Bonhoeffer book. You, they will absolutely love it. If you have a man in your life that is interested in um, defending, you know, Christianity, if they're a Christian, if um, they want to go a little bit deeper uh, in, in learning about that, if if someone, you know, if they have questions about Christianity, this is an awesome book. Kurt, and the reason I'm recommending this is that Kurt said this is a book that really, really affected his walk with Christ, and it's. Uh, by Josh McDowell, The New Evidence That Demands a Verdict. And the only reason it says new is because this is the expanded and updated edition of it. Um, it's evidence uh, one and two, updated in one volume. So uh, this is just a powerful book and I think it's a great resource to have as a family. I really think that this would be a really big hit in the sense that it's something that you could even work through together as a family if you have children that are getting older and can understand this type of content and that's something you could discuss i think it's a great conversation starter so um this is one to consider josh mcdowell the new evidence that demands a verdict so i always like to throw in um kind of some not emotional that's not right but you know just some special like little ideas or just how, thinking outside the box um, one of Kurt's heroes, one of the men that he, you know, has been really interested to learn about is Alexander Hamilton. And, um, yes, as in the musical, we, it's amazing. And he loved Hamilton before it was cool. Um, but one of the things that he admired about Hamilton was how much he read and how much he wrote. And that was how he expanded his mind and just, he was brilliant. And so I don't know how this idea came to me, but I actually bought a feather, a quill pen, because this is, you know, it's kind of the type that they would have written with at that point in time. And it just, it represents, you know, and I told Kurt this whenever I gave it to him, it represents that, you know, I believe that, that you are just as intelligent, just as brilliant as he was. And, you know, Kurt's written a manuscript uh, for a book and he is constantly growing his mind. And th this represents to me, that concept you know you are you're you're constantly improving your mind growing like alex Leonard hamilton did like one of your heroes and so my point with this is think of some you know when you give a gift explain it to the person you know what i mean like this on its own is like Ooh, whoop -de -doo, you know but it's what it's what I, it represents whenever i'm giving it to him and so i like to do that sometimes you know if there's something that makes sense in my head like this is why this reminds me of you and y'all, it doesn't have to be anything like super deep like this. I mean, it could just be something that you passed by in Target and you were like, that reminds me of so-and-so. Grab it, but then write a little note and tell them why. Because gift giving at its core, I think good gift giving is, it just comes from the heart. It, it you know, it's just, it's you're you have this person in mind when you pick something out. It's as simple as that. I was thinking of you when I bought this gift. And that, that's the most meaningful aspect of gift giving, you know, and the joy that comes for me of giving gifts to others. I love them to know, um, you mean something to me. I thought of you and I had you specifically in mind when I picked this out. So, um, no matter what you get, you know, write, you know, write it, just jot down a little note of why you got it for them. You know, this reminded me of you because, 
and I think it's just kind of a special way to add something extra to your gift. Another cute little idea uh, is that you know, pick something that reminds you of a memory with either your dad, you know, or, you know, maybe something that your husband did like with your kids or whatever. But this is a little ornament and it is Robin Hood. And my daddy and I, um, whenever I was, I was probably like two or three, it's like my, one of my very first memories of my life. Uh, I watched Robin Hood with my daddy. We lived in Orlando at the time. My mom was at some kind of a dinner. You know, she she, she was like hardly ever gone. That was like the one night she was not at home. And so my dad was babysitting and he put on Robin Hood and we ate candy conversation hearts. And so like in that instance, it would be super cute to give this to him with like a bag of candy conversation hearts. You know, if you could track them down, if you could get them, if they're not in season. But um, just like memories like that, like, the, and the reason I hold up an ornament is because you, you can find an ornament for literally anything. I mean, any occasion, any memory, like any, I think that you could find an ornament to represent it. And that's why, and not, it's not Christmas time at all, but you know, it's something they could, they could then hang on the tree at Christmas and be reminded of this memory. And so, um, I think it's neat to give it like at a time like Father's Day or for a birthday. So then they have it at Christmas time to put on their tree. And I hope that makes sense. It's just, I think it's easy to find an ornament. You can track them down, like track an ornament down online at any time of the year. But it just, it's what it represents. It's a memory that you have with that person. And every time, like this sits next to my sink and every single time I look at this, I just think of my daddy and how thankful I am for him and how much I love him. And so I hope that's that makes sense of what I'm saying. But think of a memory that you have, like any special memory that you have with your daddy, if we're talking about you giving this, you know, for your dad. And think of a way that you can give a tangible reminder of that memory or of that point in time. And that's just a good jumping off point, you know? And I'll be, you know, I enjoy the brainstorming process of gift giving. I know some people don't, but I really do. And I think it's neat to think of ideas and to, you know, bring them to fruition. You know, what do you remember about your daddy? What do you remember about you know, something that your husband did with your children that's super special. And go from there. It's just a jumping off point, and I think that those are the most meaningful gifts. I think sometimes we, you know, don't think about the simplest things being the most meaningful gifts. And an example of that is just framing photographs. If you have snapped pictures on your phone that are really special, if you, you know, they, they always sit around on our phones, right? Like we never get them developed. And so just go through your phone, your camera roll, you know, on your phone and find, you know, maybe a picture that's really special. Go back, you know, and find an old photo that maybe everyone's forgotten about and frame it. I think when you frame it, it's just giving attention to that photo and it's, it's making it, you know, uh, special and, and showcasing it. And so and a good example of that is this right here. And I gave this to Kurt, um, this is his grandfather. He is still living, Daddy Willie. We adore him. He is um, amazing. He is um, a spiritual leader. He prays for us. Uh, I mean, like no one else does. I mean, he is amazing. And um, we are so blessed. Both of us are blessed with godly, godly um, grandfathers. And just the legacy they leave behind is it will be incredible um, because of their faithfulness. And this picture was taken when Evie was just a few months old. So she, she had just started sitting up. So maybe like, you know, six or seven months old. And we had, um, what was going on? It was, this was our first home and, and the furniture wasn't in for some reason. I think we were cleaning the carpets or something like that. And it was just all taken out and the light was coming in through the window and Daddy Willie just knelt down to talk to Evie. He was just talking to her and looking at her. And we captured this photo and it is literally like one of um, mine and Kurt's favorite photos of all time. And it's what it represents. You know, he, you know, literally and figuratively, he's just, you know, gazing at her, loving her. And, but also just the, the servant's posture, you know, like he's just sitting there. Um, kneeling and and that represents prayer as well because he's he's such a prayer warrior and so um i am taking a personal moment in this video to talk about him but we adore him and he's precious and find you know pictures like this that 
just say a thousand words, literally. I mean, and you know, he, again, he is still living and he has the same picture. We gave this to him um, for a special occasion. And so this is in their home. And, you know, it's just something that every time we look at it, it will say, you know, a thousand things to us. So um, frame those pictures, frame them and gift them and they will be the biggest hit. In my Mother's Day gift guide, I shared, you know, do not underestimate the power of just writing a letter. And I want to repeat it here because it goes, it's just worth repeating again. You know, in this digital age, we are losing, I think, the handwritten record of people's emotions and feelings toward each other. You know, and yes, we, it'll be like in the internet cloud or whatever forever, but it's not their handwriting. It's not the same. And so I think it's just a really special thing. You don't want to have any regrets, you know? And we are not, we're, and this is about to, again, deep alert, but you know, we're not guaranteed tomorrow. And, um, you know, one thing that my dad said recently that really hit home for me, he sees a lot of people on their deathbed. He's a pastor. And so he's called in a lot when people are dying and he sees their last moments. And one thing that he said that always stuck out to me, and he said, someone said this and it stuck out to him always. But you know, if you're on, if you're dying, if you're in, you know, on your deathbed and you're having to frantically like track down people to talk to or call people, or you have a lot you need to say, you know, to people before you die, then you haven't been living right. You know, you should be saying like, let's say those things while these people are still alive. And let's say those things while we still have the gift of their presence, you know, here on earth. And that's something to keep in mind when it comes to just writing a letter. Like, don't leave anything unsaid and just write a letter about how you feel. And I guarantee, that is free. And I guarantee you that will mean the absolute most. And um, that's, you know, it's just something that's on my mind lately is I don't want anything to be left unsaid. And I want, you know, my loved ones to know how I feel about them. And I just, I guarantee you that will be the best gift that you could possibly give. So I hope this has been helpful guys. I really love putting this together and I love gift giving and it, it really is one of my favorite things. And hopefully these are a little bit outside of the box, you know, for you, some things that you haven't seen before, but I really enjoy putting it together for you and hopefully I'll be able to do more gift guides in the future. So I hope you will subscribe and stick around and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.